What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Cole Stride here. Welcome to the Division Two. I've been a long time fan of the Division since the first game came out, and I really enjoyed its PVE and PvP content that it had. But eventually, I did fall off of it because it was getting a little too crazy with the PvP and with the abilities and whatnot. But um, after I heard they actually were making a sequel to the game, I was really excited to see what more PvP and since they're going to be adding raids and more strongholds as the, the game goes on and I was really excited for that because I'm more of a PvE person I mean I could play PvP in some games but some games I don't really enjoy that but with that being said I was really happy to see what they were doing with this game and after seeing it in the open beta and playing the game for a while playing the strongholds maxing my rank out in the open beta I really enjoyed it and uh, felt fresh and new to me at least <laughs> and uh, that being said uh, we're gonna be jumping right in here and make our new agent since we can actually customize the agent this time because in the open beta we didn't really get to do it <laughs> and I think the last thing I was doing in the open beta I was doing a stronghold and I think the servers cut out because the beta was over it's kind of maybe a little salty but <laughs> but it didn't matter to me but for whatever the open beta did offer I really did enjoy because I did play with a bunch of randoms I didn't really talk that much but uh, playing as a team, you can really have a lot of fun with this game. And you kind of have to play as a team or you will get fucked fast. <laughs> and that's nuts. That's just saying it mildly. Because enemies will rush you. They will just completely cut you off. If they know you're weak on one end. And <laughs> that's why you got to make sure you actually play as a team in this game. Or, yeah. Even on normal mode. But, uh, let's see, randomized character. The randomizer is just a randomize, um, like pick a random character. Like I could pick this character right here, which I'm going to. Then change the appearance as I go right now. Which I will work on this for a tiny bit. be a good default head. That's how it go with um what was that one at? He was not that one. No, not that one. Where was the one I was going to pick? It was right here, I think. Yeah, this will work. I'll just change it up a little bit. Depth. Eye line. Spacing. Bad. Nose width. Don't need my nose being that big. Get my nose down a little bit. Mouth height. Not bad. It's pretty good. Cheeks. It's just to expand them. There we go. That's what it was doing. Okay. It yeah, looks pretty good. Looks good. Jawline. That looks pretty good. Not bad, not bad. Air protrusion. Uh, put that inwards a little bit. Ear size. Don't really want them that big. And I really can't make them that smaller. Skin tone. Hmm. Um, let's see. That looks pretty good. Yep. It's, yeah, that's pretty good. Pick that. Eye color. Um, I'll go with this one. This six looks pretty cool. 
uh, hairstyle. Kind of like this. I always like short hairstyle on women. <laughs> I wish I had like a jet black um, kind of thing, but black hair will do. Um, let's see here. Let me check something. Just wanna... Let me actually mouth height. There we go. I felt like the face was a little too long. Oh, that looks actually pretty damn good. There we go. That looks perfect. Um, hair color's good. Markings. I don't really want markings on... I'll go on the shoulder. Let's take a look here. Tattoos we got here. Hmm. Oh, this is on the other side now. <laughs> actually, looks pretty cool. Might actually have to go with that one. <laughs> uh, where is it? Is it right here? Like that one? I don't think I'll do any ones. I could take a look. Cause I'm probably gonna wear be wearing pants unless they got some cooler style like shorts. But I mean. Shorts ain't really doing it for me. <laughs> um, let's see, hats. We could do any type of hat. Bandana and whatnot, but we're not going to. Got glasses. Which you don't really wear on their face. Uh, shirts. We're going to go tank top. Because, I mean, this is Washington, D.C. It's kind of... It's not uh, how New York was. When it was, like, snowing and shit. <laughs> go with those. Shoes. Uh, I'll go with this. I'm pretty good. And the badge. Can't really change that. Confirm character. She looks like it's pretty damn good, Sim. So let's confirm her. You want to continue with this character? Yes. It's starting already. <laughs> care of that. One more. Oh, there's two of them over there. down. Barricades. 
And have someone radio the patrols to be on the lookout for stragglers. Some of those bastards got away. I didn't expect another attack so soon. You okay? If this keeps up, we're gonna have to relocate. Come on, help me with this. We're stretched too thin to protect everyone here. Not again. Get to the waterfront! That can't be right. Dress code. The coordinates for Washington, D.C. How is this possible? Get down! Everybody get down! Someone has to stay. We can't just leave these people here. Whatever happened, it needs to be fixed or it's all over. You go! I'll do what I can here. Go! Some wild shit. We took things for granted. We expected coffee in the morning. We expected free Wi Fi. When those were taken from us, we survived. When communications broke down, the trains stopped and the internet went dark, we survived. But when the pharmacies were looted and hospitals shut down, Asthma became lethal. And with no police to protect you, did you own a gun? Did your neighbor? Some, Some survived. survived. We are a resilient species. When our society collapsed, we found ways to go on. And now, for the first time in centuries, what we want is also truly what we need. In the face of disaster, we, we helped, helped each other. other. We built new communities in the ruins of the old. We adapted. We survived. Established a new normal. But there are also those who build nothing. Create nothing. Hyenas, Hyenas preying on the weak. They've made our world bleed. But we don't stand alone. A brave few have sworn to protect us and save what remains. They, they unite, unite us. us. Remind us that we are one people. They are our shield and our light. But if that light goes out... Who can save us then? It's one thing about games. It's been seven months since the outbreak. We still live in fear of the virus, the green poison. But the real danger is out there, waiting.
Like I was saying before, I really enjoy the apocalyptic kind of setting in most games. You have to rebuild everything from scratch. And I always uh, really enjoy that all the time. This is pretty much where the beta took place right here. So I can load and get to the White House. Incoming alert on the SHD emergency channel. Flash priority. The base of operations is under attack. Hostile forces have breached our southern perimeter. We are in need of immediate assistance. Repeat, need immediate assistance from any nearby agents. Got a little Bambi running. Here. You don't have to shoot the eating game. I'm pretty sure he's dead. I want to make sure you ever find somebody who's better than the fuck for the hiding. Good idea. Let me help. Bye bye. God damn, I'm kicking, uh, kicking a damn corpse around. Ammo. All government personnel. The White House is under attack. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. And let's see what we got here. Our job is to make sure nobody comes up from behind. We got two guys. Lift your damn head up. Running won't help. <laughs> nope. I've got eyes on a We're division done. agent heading north toward the White House. Looks like they've cut down a group of hyenas and are headed this way. Agent, here? if you can hear us on this frequency, keep pushing forward and blindside these bastards. Alright, we'll do. This area over here. Try to get a vantage point on them. Changing up your uh, location. You're done. Operations. This 
is where we got all our skills, our merchants, and our crafting. White House discovered. Hey, thanks for the help out there. You should check in with Manny, our This is you. Welcome to DC. I'm Manny. I run comms. I'm guessing the division alert brought you here? Damn glad to see you. Let me show you exactly how screwed we are. Ever since the JTF imploded, the city's become a playground for murderous fuckheads. There are several main factions and a whole lot of bottom feeders sucking up whatever the big dogs miss. A few civilian settlements are still holding out against all this villainy. They need more help than we've been able to provide, especially since the Division network went dark. Um, that's Kelso. She's one of the last surviving agents in DC. She's operating at the theater settlement on a priority mission. You should go check in with her. If anyone knows how to get these systems back online, it's her. Oh, and um, introduce yourself to the locals while you're at it. It'll comfort them to know there's a new sheriff in town. <laughs> By the way, Agent, head downstairs and check in with the quartermaster. He can get you set up with some division tech. You're gonna need the edge. Skill unlocked. Also, I think we got some stuff, by the way. Some knee pads. Definitely better. I'm probably gonna sell stuff. Cause I'm not gonna worry about crafting right off the bat. Open. Oh, we got an AUG. I know the AUGs are always my favorite type of weapon. I, know, I just like the way it looks. That and the FAMAS. Here we got something there. I'm probably gonna sell everything I have. Other things. Progression. Uh, unlock skill. Alright, cool. Leveled up. One SHD tech. That's for unlocking uh, abilities and whatnot. The ability to hold more guns, more grenades and whatnot. That's the guy we have to talk to actually unlock all that. Skill. Unlock available. And I can pick any of these. Uh -huh. Well, the way my character is going to be played as, I'm going to be mainly a marksman healer, so. But I'm going to first get. Because the main ability I want to get is pulse um, first. Then I'm going to work on getting different abilities like the drone. In the secret mine, and then the also the hive, because the hive could have the ability to re res people from a distance. But I'm gonna go with pulse. Uh, let's see. Scanner. The scanner pulses the surrounding area of hostiles and visually highlights them for the, on the agent's hub. Okay, this keeps on um, activating and. Scanning enemies as it's on the ground, as long as the enemies don't shoot it. The jammer pulse outwards, overloading and disabling hostile electronics. Huh. I'm gonna go with that. Scan. Okay. Equipping skills. Got skill variants. Once a new skill platform is unlocked, you can unlock skill variants to alter its functionality. Gather SHD tech by playing tech missions, leveling up, and looting tech uh, locations. Then return to the base and unlock the variants. Okay. And these are the skills you can unlock. 
perks are passive bonuses. Yeah, we already know that. Unlocking perks, upgrades, whatnot, media effects. Oh, oh yeah, it's gonna make me pick this one. Now I have two primary weapons now in the tutorial. So now I can hold two guns now instead of just one. Whoa. Strongholds. Uh, the hostile factions in the DC have their main foothold in the form of strongholds weakened factions by completing main missions in order to access their strongholds. Settlements. Theater. Settlements provide a number of different activities, including main missions, side missions, and projects. Check in with the settlements and see what they need help with. Benefits and upgrading. Completing a settlement missions will unlock new skills and equipment. And will also upgrade the settlement and provide base of operations for new staff. Understandable. Uh, okay, good. New mission. The theater. Maybe to go got what you want, agent. Oh, right. Oh, you got a... Wait, what? A lullaby upgrade. What is this? Oh, yeah, this is the, um... What the hell is it called? <laughs> it's a level two. I can buy it. Um, this is, I think, the thing I think you get for pre-ordering. Um, gear score exotic. Oh, it's a blueprint, but I can't really make it just yet. Understandable. Items required a lullaby score to fifty five. Two fifty I mean. Um hmm. I'll buy that. Bye. Hope to do business with you again. And I'm gonna sell this stuff. Uh mark as junk. And sell. My inventory thanks you. That was a good deal. Can't really do crafting right now, but all in all, that's good. Let's move on. The neighborhoods you'll be moving through are hyena territory. They're a bunch of vicious assholes who prey on the weak and vulnerable and kill for kicks. And they destroy whatever they can't steal for themselves. And they've been an especially serious problem for the theater settlement. Given our situation, we need the help of the settlements. But they can't do much if they're struggling to survive. So see what you can do to take some pressure off them. But don't forget that we have to get the Shade Network back to full strength. In a lot of places, the Division has been the only thing holding people together. But when DC is the priority, most agents are completely cut off. They're not going to last long without support. All right. I was going to say that was. Um, I'll show you where the matchmaking and whatnot is. You guys don't already know. You're going to want to check this out. Let's see, I got some stuff in my basket. Oh yeah, it's the skill abilities and whatnot. All right. Let's just start. Okay. So I don't want that to be on the. I want to be assigned to the L1. Not to be precise here, but. And I also got some mail deliveries. I got grants. Compares the visual of Sweet Dreams to a Lullaby. Okay. I got some keychains. Got a bunch of different stuff. <laughs> Play all the pre order stuff. <laughs> um Got the shotgun early. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. Got all the new clothes and whatnot. It's good to know. Cause this is the area right here you'll be doing the crap thing, but there ain't nothing here yet. Just yet. Let me see something. Um so we unlocked clothing. Oh, okay. Got the appeal store. Got caches. Scarves. Got the mask. Got a little scarf. Pants. Hmm. Interesting. Got gestures. Oh, t shirts. Got a sweat jacket that covers everything. 
I get weapon charms. Not great. <laughs> I like, kinda like those boots. Eh, got a lot of stuff. You even get caches and stuff. I guess eventually they're gonna add, um. What else did I get? Oh. Oh, you got paints too. Oh, you got to pay for currency for gun paints too. Holy shit. Interesting. <coughs> Emotes. I guess we'll get, always look at this stuff later. I didn't think there was. You can buy stuff. Glasses, shoes, pants, shirts. Mm-hmm. Awesome. I think this is all premium currency. So you have, so these are buy with real money. Hmm. Alright, cool. I'll definitely check that off, like, I mean, if you guys want to see the full thing, I mean, I could always show it later in another episode, but I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> hey, you. It's pretty cool, though, that they, um, well, not to say, at least it's cosmetic only, at least, which is nice. And if we want to pay to customize our character, why not? Not the first game to do it, and it sure is only the last game to do it. But at least they're doing cosmetic stuff. <laughs> I probably won't worry about it too much unless they have something really extravagant I really want, but you can pretty, uh, uh, should be a pretty good amount of stuff you can actually get just by scavenging like new clothes and whatnot. There's a problem here. This guy. You're done. You ready? Let's get moving. All right, let's go. At least we're not locked out of any area now. <laughs> Unless there's uh, stronger areas, of course. There's a lootable area. There's some enemies down there. Let's try to loot this area and try to get some, uh, see if we can get some stuff from here. scan for uh, items too. Twenty five food. Definitely need the food. Not right here. Some more food. All the food we could get for the area. Well, settlements too, because they give you stuff if you give them enough food and stuff. What not? Hope we got some enemies. Oh, we got some right here too. Where are these guys? Oh, they're right there. Shoot. Uh, matchmaking. 
the people are having trouble, they actually t um, tell you if they need help or whatnot. So, it's pretty cool. But I have to kind of level up first before I start worrying about trying to help everybody. <laughs> Up ahead. Where are these guys? Uh, right over there. Saving civilians from executions already. <laughs> oh, I'll take that. Hmm. Yeah, I'll look at the stuff I got. I wonder if... I this is a level 5, I don't think any... Well, this will do more damage. Um, 91 damage, holy crap. Um... I'm gonna mark as junk, 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 and deconstruct. Receiver components. I heard gunfire already. Again. <laughs> done. Take that. And this is a looter shooter. Of course, if you haven't noticed or haven't known about Division, you'll be doing some grinding to get some legendary gear and whatnot. Which I don't mind. Like I said, if the game is really good and it has really fun gameplay, I don't mind grinding. Swine flu. Everyone freaked out for nothing. You'll see. In a couple of months, no one will even remember what the dollar flu was, like Y2K. Y2K? You really know how to make a guy feel old. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. But I don't know. 
this doesn't feel like it's just gonna blow over. People are scared. And you know what happens when people are scared? You worry too much, mijo. Give me your wallet. Yeah. Don't make us hurt you. Well, hell no. You should have just given it up, old man. Help! Someone help us! Call 911! We need help! Please, stay with me, Theo. So one guy was a division coordinator. Hmm. I'm going to activate again, but interesting. You're coming up in the theater settlement. The woman who runs it is named Odessa Sawyer. Try to stay on her good side. And for what I heard, too. This is a one in one replica of Washington DC. Like some of these streets will actually be uh like you can go down one of these streets and really be uh familiar with it if you're actually from Washington DC. Which is pretty cool. I don't know how much fully that's true. I mean I haven't really looked myself because I haven't been to Washington so Ronadessa Sawyer at the theater. This is one of the other missions we got to do from the uh, beta also. I think we got to do three full missions and I think two strongholds, or I think it might have been two or three strongholds maybe? Yeah, so we got two strongholds and I think an in-game stronghold. So we were allowed to be level 32 in the beta and got to mess around with the new specialist. A demolition, uh, uh, demolition. Specialist, um, survivalist, and the marksman, well, which I'm going to be. Oh, I know it's a demolition person with a grenade launcher, I swear to God. They take down yellow bars like they're nothing. <laughs> Just got to find her up here. Talk to Odessa. If you're looking for Agent Kelso, she just left. I should have gone with her. But I'd only slow her down. I know you got your own problems to deal with. But them hyena motherfuckers took my little girl. They get to me. If you can help, I'll be on your debt. And I'll always pay my debts. All right. All right, what do we got here? New mission. The Grand Washington Hotel. Which is actually one of the... I'm going to say it is a stronghold, but I guess I consider it a stronghold because there are a bunch of ways you got to do in the game, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> What's the status? I'm inside the hotel. No sign of Eleanor. I'm making some preparations while I wait for the new agent to arrive. What kind of preparations? The usual kind. Remember, the point is to rescue a hostage, not bring down the building. I'm capable of restraint. Uh-huh. Are you? But I'm actually going to do it solo, because that's what I did the first time in the beta. So, yeah, we're going to go do that. Projects. Mission required. We got unlock crafting. We got unlock clans. For mission two, dark zone officer, fire range, and the settlement will evolve over time as you do missions for them, which is pretty nice. Um, who was talking to me? <laughs> um, If I'm not mistaken, the store is over here. Nice seeing you again. Hmm. 
Got a backpack. I'm probably going to sell some stuff to you. Um, Marcus Junk and Salt Junk. It's a pleasure Damn. dealing with you in bulk. Great doing business. There's the one person. I forget what that one person was. Uh, I think it wasn't projects. Might have been up here, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Can't remember officially. It wasn't you. Unless I don't unlock that just yet until I did a mission. Which I'm probably gonna go do. Let's go do it. <laughs> main repel rope deploy secondary repel rope never knew what the hell that was talking about honestly uh, we'll get there normally I'll do this mission co-op so it makes it a little bit more fun but uh unfortunately I think it will match make me with higher level enemies so don't want to do that fortunately But like I said, I can't handle the mission myself, so... Wait, where? Oh, right here. Missing prisoners. Where's the prisoners? I got tired of them moaning. So you let them go? No, I didn't let them go. Motherfucker, we were gonna trade them! Oh well. That's what you're gonna tell Diesel when he asks why you killed them? I didn't kill them. The dogs did. What dogs? I don't know, some dogs. I didn't ask their fucking names. Oh, but they must have been fucking hungry. Cause damn, once they sniffed blood, it was chow time. You stupid son of a bitch! Well, whatever. He's only gonna do shit except huff and puff a little. I'm gonna check this place real quick. Cause I remember searching in here before. There was something down here. Upgrade, so equip. Oh. You're right next to the Grand Washington Hotel. Okay, here we go. That should get very easy. Head to the service entrance on the east side of the building. Lift your head. Go ahead. Oop. You're done. Take that. <laughs> Once you're inside, find a way to the atrium. Don't doubt what I like about this. Like I said, you can farm this mission like on the how many times. Unlimited amount of times, really, which is nice. Construct. Uh, what the hell am I missing in here? That's not marking. I don't know why. It's just. Uh, I must be missing something. I'll look at it. <laughs> I hate when things are not checked. Okay, let's see here. Alright. Um, can I can't? I'll just loot it. Hostile radio intercepted. We're under attack. It might be a diversion, so be ready. <laughs> Oh, 
Hostile radio intercepted. I'm heading upstairs to the hostage. Everybody, get to the atrium. Shit. Saints here. The who now? Hyena big shot. Real unpleasant. We need to kill this asshole. Plus, when you're playing solo, I think there's less enemies and they're not as tough, of course, because they try to cater to everybody in your group. Which ain't a bad thing, but I mean, me. Definitely need a marksman rifle. Boop. Yeah, but a boop. Still one more guy here, I think. Oh, there's more people. Yeah, okay. Got 30 shock rounds. And make sure you check all the loot places. Because <laughs> they've been hidden stashes in these areas called hyena, little hyena caches. You can find them by looking around and whatnot. Armor kit. So far, so good. Give me that grenade. Let me change that holster up. Big increase. Ooh, frame rate a little bit. Like I said, I won't be judging the game too harshly, even if there's a little bit of frame rate or whatever problems, because the game just, well, game is officially out three days from now, but, I mean, this is three-day early access, so I'm not gonna give it too much shit. Him, but it's not <laughs> but yeah there's um hidden hyena chest like right here it's not really hidden but but you need one of their keys to get it though I think you can only get them off bosses if I'm mistaken or it might be just random Shield if I ever need it. 
This guy's trying to rush me. Come on. Is that my armor? Come on. Done. Lift your head up. Come on. You're done. <laughs> and my stuff regenerates. So it wasn't too bad. Like you said, when you're playing with uh, other players, though, since the difficulty is ramped up a little bit, even on normal, <laughs> the fucking even the Russian guys can fucking nail you pretty good. They're only like, they could be red bars and they could kill you like an instant if you're not paying attention. There's a little room up here. Nothing. Alright. Let's move on. I just found an ammo stockpile. I'm gonna detonate it. Bye-bye. Too bad, actually. I saw this in the beta, and I thought this was kind of fucked up. These fucking bastards were like fucking dog fights and shit in here. Honestly, I don't feel my remorse killing these motherfuckers over and over again. One thing I fucking hate the most is this fucking animal abuse and shit like that. It's one thing I do not fucking tolerate. So that shit pisses me off. Even in a video game, I mean. Fucking hate that. Because honestly, if you have the balls of beef, something that small, then. 
prepared to get your ass beat. Honestly. Can open up. Give me some ammo back. No, I get stuck in that spot right there. I don't know why. Oh, what the hell? Turn. Oh, unless it's upstairs. It's a little further in the back. I know he's right here. They're trying to come after me, little fuckers. I see you guys. Wait, was it? Oh. That might have been the two guys. Huh. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, alright, alright. Oh. Oh. Let's see here, um... Bam, 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 bam. Let's see here. I'm on the roof, holding for backup. I have eyes on you, Kelso. You see Saint? I don't know what he looks like, but there are plenty of hostiles up there. Not for long. Oh, yeah. I think I heard it. You know what to do. Damn, hang on up. Damn, smoke's getting to me. It's fucking with my controls a little bit. I hate that. The smoke does that, disorients you, and fucks up your controls. So this hog is doing fucking wonders for me. That's one thing I can't say. <coughs> Between that and the FAMAS, uh, FAMAS I always like both of them. And there's also hidden areas, which I think would be one like nearby. Oh, I don't think it's here, actually. There's another cache thing, but I don't have a hyena key. Um, yeah. Abilities.
here at Toronto is really confusing the shit out of them. the rest of the enemies out. Eleanor? Your mom sent us to bring you home. Are you hurt? Who, who are you? What's going on? She's in shock. I'll bring her down when she's fit to move. Let's meet at the theater later. All right. Let's change a few things up. Uh, holster. They got nothing new there. Pads, yes, definitely upgrade. Shotgun. Uh, I think I might go with this. If I'm a mistake, I think it's a single shot. No, it's, I think it might be automatic. Because some of the scars are actually, um... Got hostiles flooding into the building from the street. Get down there and take care of them. I got Eleanor. Because I know some of the, uh, scars are actually, um, marksman rifles. Enter the safe zone. Not for long, at least.
I gotta destroy that door. All clear. Was I, did I get more than, uh, level three cash? Open it. Let's see what we get. Hmm. Uh, a lot more damage. Oh, this is a rifle. I'm definitely going to equip that then. Because <laughs> I need that. Probably going to mark this stuff and. What's, uh, well, I can't deconstruct. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Uh, mark as junk. I didn't think this was actually a marksman rifle. <laughs> Looks like a damn submachine gun. Got a deer, and it just disappears. <laughs> Check this out. Hmm. I'm gonna sell everything. Mark it as sell. I gotta make that money. And sell. Oh, sell all junk. There we go. All this stuff is welcome. You happy? I'm happy. Uh, oh, this is the woman I wanted to see right here. We need to uh, need a dedicated crew of engineers working around the clock if we're going to keep this place up and running, let alone build anything new. We need to keep them fe uh, fed and safe if we don't want them to walk off the job. View donations. I'll donate. Why not? Projects help the settlements to solidify the safety and security of the DC survivors. Donate to projects anywhere in the world and complete the activities required. 
Return to the project officer to retrieve your rewards. With white petals and a bright yellow center. Kind of like a tiny piece. With this woman for crafting. Hello, I'm Anaya. I'm going to be helping out at the base of operations with equipment fabrication. It's a pleasure to meet you. Crafting unlocked. Uh, she's been hired at the base of operations. We got her accept missions. What do you got for me? More dead batteries. Shit. Let's go with set mission. Sooner or later, it's gonna bite us. We've had some reports of hyenas at Odia's office. New milestone reached. Well, hello. And I can also unlock the clan. Shame pad. Can't wait to do that. <laughs> Make my own damn clan. It's worse than ever, Odessa. We're barely holding things together. What am I supposed to do? Help us. I am helping. I am helping. Just not the way you want me to. We need you out there again. Your leg wouldn't stop you. It's not about that. I know it isn't. But if we fail... All right! All right. We can probably spare some people. I'll be outside. She said you did your part. I won't forget it. GPS. The GPS line will guide you to your active destination. Well, we can already know that. We can toggle the GPS line. Yes. The quickest route to your destination. Remember, the quickest route is not always the best. Feel free to go off the beaten path and explore the city. Flare gun. Civilian entrusted you with a flare gun to help them retake control points from enemy factions. Hmm. Go to the enemy held control point, shoot the flare, and defeat the enemies to take over the control point. In addition to reduce an enemy presence, capturing a control point will give access to valuable equipment and resources. Oh shit. Viewpoint Museum. Main missions. You have unlocked main missions complete. Yeah, I already know that. <laughs> Skill unlocks. Recruiting new staff, staff services uh, such as crafting. It's pretty much about telling me all about the whole damn thing. Why not? Okay. All right. What are these zones? Restricted Roosevelt Island story. Hmm. Got movement on. I guess the mission I actually did wasn't really a, what's it called, a stronghold, I guess. Um, but, eh, it still take some time, especially if you play with co-op. <laughs> I think I might go take down this area real quick and then head back to the, the place. Take down that. Hi there. We now have a working barbecue. And better food in your stomach is gonna go a long way towards putting a smile on your faces. Yep, yep, yep. We'll take down our first control point and then we'll go back to the base.
the Alva. Let's get out of here. There will be more tomorrow. All right, cool. Had to help him out a little bit. Actually, well, it was a person sitting there, but I really thought it was a real person. Like a live one. And a fox. Oh, shit. I'll wait for that poor civilian. Jackasses. Always harass the civilians, like seriously. Always a pain in the ass. But they'll be dead. Along with the other factions. Two threats. Reinforcements incoming. Grenade launcher now. Oh shit. Heavily armored hostiles detected. Oh, hello. Oh shit. You think you can touch our stuff? I'm 
mistaken too. I think there's stuff that's hidden upstairs. Unless there's still something. Must be still somebody here. It's not activating just yet. See no fucking enemies left. Requesting backup. Free roam. <laughs> Might be a little bit, uh, what should we call it? <laughs> Let me just re. Okay, can't do that. Unless I have to leave this area, I don't know. Right there, somebody. Just a Roman enemy, so. Unless it could be just a little finicky. <laughs> Just fast travel to it. Like I said, I think that thing might have just wiped it out on me. Because <laughs> there are times, like even with this game or any other game, if you kill enemies like too fast, or there's certain things that can make it like wig out, bug out. So I'm not too worried about it. I can always go back to it and clear it. 
which I already did do it, so technically. <laughs> At least we got unlock a new skill too. <clears throat> I'll probably go for a healing one this time. There. New skill unlocked. I'll probably go with a drone. Fixer. Unlock that ability. And that goes to unlock perks. Which I'll probably unlock Mer more grenades, because I need those. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Unlock the staff roster. So now I can craft now over here. Agent, it seems I have the equipment I need. Craft items with a crafting bench. You need materials, and you can unlock blueprints also. I don't have what I need to craft all this stuff, so. <laughs> And when you craft stuff, you get, like, in between, like, where it says, um, the armor gives you, you get in between those numbers, and it's all random. Especially with perks and whatnot, and, yeah, so on and so forth. You can earn different mods and whatnot on those armors, so, yeah, wasn't too bad. But, I probably will end it there, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, I always appreciate if you leave a like and subscribe for more. I'll see you awesome people in the next part. Peace.